The release of millions of users' personal data from the web service Ashley Madison has generated much controversy and moralistic judgment. Ashley Madison is a sort of online dating site geared especially toward married people looking to have extramarital affairs. The hacker group calling itself Impact Team released the data they obtained after unsuccessfully demanding that the proprietors of Ashley Madison, Madison shut down the site. But there is a dark side to the data dump, and my guest Glenn Greenwald has recently written about it. Glenn Greenwald is the author of No Place to Hide, Edward Snowden, the NSA, and the U.S. Surveillance State. He's also the author of How Would a Patriot Act? And with liberty and justice for some, he's a former constitutional lawyer and civil rights litigator and a Pulitzer Prize-winning journalist. Since he began breaking the stories of the NSA's mass surveillance, he's taken on a role as founding editor of the new media outlet, The Intercept, on which he wrote the article about Ashley Madison. He now joins me live from Rio in Brazil. Welcome to Uprising, Glenn. Great to be with you. Now, the reasons that the hackers have to release the data seems bizarre at the outset. They were upset that Ashley Madison was retaining user data instead of deleting it. So then they released it themselves to the public? Right. I mean, there's a lot of bizarre aspects to it. They seem to think that the site is a scam, which it very well may be in the sense that um, there's evidence that a substantial number of the female profiles are actually fake to induce male users to believe that there's lots of females who are waiting for them to have sex with. They were also upset, they say, about um, the fact that, as you mentioned, there was a fee charged by the website to delete user data. So if you joined and then you regretted it and you decided you didn't want them to have your data, you would have to pay them $19.99 for them to delete it and, and, and the hackers say that they weren't really deleting the, the data. And so the response is quite bizarre, which is to say, well, we're angry that user privacy isn't being protected and therefore we're going to expose every user of the site. Um, I do want to though add that the hackers also did have a moralistic component to their um, manifesto, which is essentially to say to these people, look, you've engaged in wrong behavior, sinful behavior. Um, yes, there may be a bad effect on your life from what we're doing, but go ahead and repent and you'll get over it and move on. Mm. 